In this video, you're going to see where to get a beach wheelchair, and you're going to see us test two different beach wheelchairs they had there on the island. And in the end of the video, I'll give you my synopsis of what we thought of the beach wheelchairs. They suggested that we store the our wheelchair uh, down here. This is the equipment rental facility. In fact, you just caught a glimpse of it there in the background. And so we took it there. Now I'm going to try to take Cheryl. We're going to go down to the beach. The one thing I'll say is that this was not the easiest device to maneuver. And uh, neither of them were particularly easy. One's better than the other. But as we go down, you can see Cheryl's a little uncertain about it. Uh, she uh, got the camera in selfie mode. And we're going to take a look at some of it. I'm back there pushing. It pushed fairly easily on the sand. That was the one thing that was pretty good. And in fact, it was pretty easy to deal with once you got it on the sand. It was trying to get up and down the, the ramp. And you'll get another look at that ramp coming up. You can see us in the shadow there. So we're going to go out here and we're going to get in the water with it. We're going to see... And we're going to test a couple of things as we go on. I'm going to go out here and drop off the edge. And what we're going to see is all of a sudden it gets really unstable because we're trying to decide if it was something that you could sit in and float in the water. And the answer to that is no. It's just very unstable in the water. Uh, it's fine. You go uh, stay in the reasonably shallow water. It's easy. So if somebody wanted to get out there and, and sit and get their feet wet, they could do that without a problem but it, it's definitely not something that you could float on there are some beach wheelchairs i've seen advertised where you can sit in it and so we're going to go back up here on the sand and we're going to go walk down the beach here for a ways in another video i do some snorkeling under that cabana over there on the far right edge that there's a rock wall along there and that seemed to be the best most likely place to see fish we're sitting here in the dealing with the tide or the uh, waves coming in I'm just trying to see how it again what it, how it responds when there's water and in general as long as it's not floating it is really stable re really easy to handle it's easier to push once you get up on the sand and the one thing about this sand is it when it's wet it packs down pretty good it makes a really nice surface to, to push the wheelchair on I'll go back out here and play on the water's edge a little bit and I'll let you get a, a chance to see Cheryl here in just a second. Then I'll go off. So you can see her sitting in the wheelchair. You can see this one has one wheel in the back, two wheels in the front. Um, and like I said, it's easy to sit in. It. She was reasonably comfortable in it. It doesn't have any kinds of restraints with you. If you need that, would be a challenge. We're going to walk down past this deck area. On the other end, there is a ramp. We're going to walk down there and we'll turn around and come back. I'll let you listen to some music. Do me a favor if you're getting value from watching this, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. That way you get notified. I make a new video at least every week, sometimes more often than that. Thanks. If you've used a beach wheelchair at Half Moon Key, do me a favor and let me know how it worked for you in the comments down below. I sped the video up twice normal as we head back. If you've enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit the like key. That'll let YouTube know there's content that's worthwhile and they'll share it with other people. Thank you very much.
And as we start up this ramp here, you'll see that that's where we start to struggle a little bit with the wheelchair. It's just, it doesn't maneuver like a regular chair does because the wheels you turn are in the back. And it's pretty tight going up this ramp. I'm going to get a little help from the lifeguard here in just a second. He's going to uh, basically take over and he's had a lot of practice with these. We're going to go from here up to the area where we picked up this beach wheelchair and we're going to change them out. And that's uh, to the right as you come into the main plaza from off of the uh, off the tender. Now this tree got in my way and in fact I had to cut some out because I fought with the tree for a minute getting around it. That is right there is the shuttle they move around the island for people and you can see the steps on the back of it so it's very definitely not an accessible shuttle. Where we have space to turn it's not too bad to, to maneuver this and so right now I'm moving right along without much of a problem. You can see the patio area here is paved pretty well. We're going to change uh, into a different wheelchair and now I'm going to try to get it out and we're going to head back down to the beach and test it. And you can see I struggle a little bit with getting it lined up where we wanted it. It's, this one drives just a little bit different than the three wheel version does. And we're going to hurry on down to the beach. We're going to test it, we're going to try to float it, and we're going to see what we think of it, and then we'll put it back up. Again, the video has sped up twice just so that it didn't take quite so long traveling back and forth. Now when I get down here, our same lifeguard is here, and he, he is going to... Um, basically take over helping Cheryl get down this. He saw me drive the first one and he thought, no. As the lifeguard backs to Cheryl down in just a second, he's going to give me the permission to drive again. Now that he's got her safely on the sand. And we'll go down and we'll put our stuff on one of these recliners. One thing I notice is not much shade on the island along the beach, which is uh, different than some of the others we've visited. I, I will tell you that the three-wheel version is the version that drove the best. It was just easier to maneuver. The four-wheel version would lock up. Uh, we're going to go out here and find out that this doesn't float any better than the uh, three-wheel version did. So if you need one, get the three-wheel if it's available and don't try to float it. The video is going to shrink right there and in that arrow is pointing at a video I recommend for, to follow this one up. And if you click on my face, you'll get subscribed to the channel.